Welcome to another episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. This is movies you love that everyone else hates. So, without further ado, enjoy. Hello everyone, this is Tony the Movie Guy and... Miss Money, any right here? Woo woo! And also uh, Daniela is going to uh, sit in uh, since this is going to be another topic where uh, we'll debate a little bit. So the more the merrier. Say hi. Hi! She's here for my support really. Yeah, <laughs> she said hi. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll Come see. on! All right, so uh, the last episode we uh, posed the question, what's a film that everyone loves but you hate... So uh, the next question is, what's a film that everyone hates, but you love? And this one, I think, is going to be a bit more fun, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and again, I really don't want any animosity on the other one. Um, you know, everyone has their opinion, so it's fine. But it was just, I thought it was really fascinating, um, you know, how diverse people's opinions are. You know, some totally. people, you know, really can't stand films that are just beloved and so on. So anyway, I thought it was kind of interesting to go through. Um, so... With this episode, that's the question. It's what's a film that everyone hates but you love? And I did a similar poll a few weeks ago as well. And uh, we got a ton of uh, answers and uh, a lot of uh, fun, uh, entertaining debates. So we're going to kind of uh, go through that and see if we can repeat that here without, um, you know, laughing at each other too much. <laughs> but anyway, so I'll go through this list. Uh, and again, I'm just going to do some shout outs and uh, listeners, you know, uh, if you don't like that, tell me. But, uh, you know, again, it's all in good fun. Um, so the question is, what's a film that everyone hates but you love? So uh, this is a film, I kind of agree with it. Apart from now, I don't find it very rewatchable. But when I was a kid, I loved this movie, which is Dune. David Lynch's Dune. I've never saw it. You guys it. have never probably seen never it. seen that, no. right? Okay, I, I mean, it's got Sting in it. It's like an 80s film. Um, I tried to watch it a few months ago, and my God, it was so corny. Um, but uh, John Prinzing and Jake Welsh, uh, two listeners, uh, they both said they loved it. And I actually know that's kind of, it's got a cult following. That film is actually quite okay. beloved. Man, it's really weird and really corny. <laughs> but, uh, but that's fine. Um, all right, here's another one, which I kind of agree with, although I usually wouldn't admit this, and now I'm going to admit it to the world. Uh, this is Daredevil, Ben Affleck's Daredevil. Came out, like, in the early 2000s. I remember when it came out, but I don't, I didn't watch it. Okay, so people hated that film. Right? Okay. They could not stand it. Um, obviously, look, the, the TV series that came out on Netflix is far more superior. You know, I love that show with Charlie Cox. Um, but this is the film Daredevil. And you know what? I've you seen kinda it. You kind of liked it. I kind of like it. <laughs> I wouldn't say I love it, but I kind of like it. It's not a bad film. Okay, here's a film um, that a lot of people love, which a lot of people hate, which is Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys love that movie or even like that movie? Never seen it. Yeah, you don't. Okay, so I, I, I'm going to admit to this. It. I saw that film twice in the theater. I don't know what it was when that whole buzz yeah. came out with the books for Steph from Stephanie buzz. Meyer. Right, I was one of those people who kind of fell into that I trap. saw every single one in the theater and even dragged my husband to two of them. Yeah, so I actually didn't watch every single one in yeah. the theater. I think as the films progressed, they got really really corny and lame but I I'll admit I read the books and some parts I, I was cringing because yeah. you know the the romance and lying in the you know field the of sparkly flowers sparkly vampire and... I remember watching Twilight with my friend with another guy <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> the we, truth comes out okay we actually liked the movie we thought it was kind of cool but I remember there was one scene <laughs> where the uh, two main characters Edward and whatever her name is um, Bella okay Good. Thank God I didn't remember. They're literally <laughs> lying in this field of flowers of lily pads, like looking at each other yeah. lovingly. And me and my buddy, like, looked at each other and we're like, hey, yo, what's up, man? <laughs> <You know? laughs> like, we kind of looked at each other and it, like, dawned on us that, what the hell are we doing? Right. Uh, I don't know what it was, but I actually liked the first one. Soundtrack is killer. So, yeah, I think it's, it's funny. Twilight is one of those. Um, 
series of films that I feel like it's become popular to hate them. Right, especially now. Especially now. It was now. huge, like yeah. five, ten years ago. And um, people, people really attacked her. Um, and I'm not a fan of uh, uh, Kristen Stewart. Of Kristen right. Stewart as an actress but honestly after reading the books she nailed she the character she nailed actually, the character yeah. the character's depressing yeah. very kind of you know right. what you'd call an introvert yeah um she actually nailed it like yeah. people attacked that character but they obviously hadn't read the books yeah. um they cast it it is per the books the yeah. entire series so if people don't like it it's just not their cup of tea it's totally fine yeah. for what it was at the time I enjoyed them. Yeah. And I had look, fun with them. I'll admit it right now. I actually liked the first one. Yeah. Uh, they progressively got worse. The last one actually last was one kind was of good. cool too. First but, um, and last, I'd say, were good. I like the first one. The, yeah. the music is fantastic. And look, I'm, actually, I, I'm a fan of uh, Robert Patterson. I actually like him. Yeah. You know, and the funny thing is he has a film that's coming out. Actually, I think it already came out called Good Time. He's getting serious Oscar buzz for that movie. Oh, good. Uh, and I actually think he's a, a pretty good actor. So I know he kind of got, um, you know... Put in that stereo, class, yeah. yeah, type, you know, casting in terms of that type of role. But uh, shortly after he did that, uh, elephant, water for elephants. Yeah, that's where bad. I actually saw yeah. him and went, okay, this guy can actually really. He's not just you know some teen throb in a cheesy yeah, vampire did a, movie. He but. did a film called The Rover that was quite a dark, like kind of a dystopian futuristic film that was quite gritty and good and he's not bad at all okay um anyway i cannot get my wife to watch twilight i've suggested it <laughs> i a understand few times. that too she refuses nope. to watch nope, it nope nope I, okay. I do understand that knowing danny well and i don't think you'd enjoy them one bit yeah. mm -hmm. all right here's another one that uh, chrissy lee said and actually i agree and i actually i know tons of people who love this movie but it's generally hated um to a vanilla sky from Tom Cruise. Oh, wow. Um, really? And Cameron Crowe. That's Crow. hated, huh? Oh, uh, terrible reviews. Um, I like that, that movie. Like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's a very, you know, mind fuck of a movie. It's quite trippy. Um, I think he's phenomenal in it. I think Cameron Diaz is fantastic in it. Again, it's the soundtrack is fantastic. Um, I highly recommend that movie, but I, I know a lot of people don't like it. All right, I, this, is, yeah. this is a film that... Is, actually, I didn't like it all when it came out. I, I've watched it a bit since then, but um, Hook... You know, uh, oh wow, uh, yeah, Steven Spielberg. People hate it. Yeah, it's generally considered one of Spielberg's Danny, you've worst seen Hook, films. Right? Mm -mm. Robin Williams. Nope. Hook. Yeah, you have. No, I haven't. Bangarang. Nope. You haven't seen Hook. No. Tony. Oh wow. Remedy that. Oh, I thought you had. Really? Yeah. So it's actually a film that's not. Um, wow, I thought it was one of those that's like, like almost well a classic. Regarded. Yeah. When did it well, come a out? lot of kids in the nineties, um, early nineties. Yeah, it's a nineties. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's the mo the Peter Pan movie. It came out in the early nineties. Well, the Disney movie is the Peter Pan movie. To, to me, the animated Hook is the Peter wow, Pan see, that's movie. Crazy. Yeah. Hold well, on, it came out in the early 90s? In the early 90s, yeah. When was I born? 1992. We forget. Yeah, early we 90s. Okay. Because of okay. your maturity, we forget how beautifully young you are. All right. All right, um, so here's another one, which uh, The Matrix Reloaded and Revolutions. Okay. So, I yeah. mean, they got absolutely crapped on uh, the sequels, and they were a subpar. But again, I've gone back and watched them a few times. They're still they're actually quite enjoyable as films, so I understand why people um, kind of like those films, even yeah. though they're generally considered. To be I'm going to rewatch them based on you, you guys having you know rewatched re them, and they brought it up on Screen Junkies and mm. one of the most recent ones actually. They were debating it on the second one, and someone was going, "It's the biggest pile of shit ever," and then the other guy was just like, "You know, actually take that movie apart." Right. And yes, everyone had very high expectations because yeah. of the first one. But it's not that bad of a movie. Yeah, look, plot, story-wise, and yeah. then acting. It's not really known for its acting anyway. It kind of falls apart. But visually, yeah. action sequences, I mean, That's it's, what they said it's got too. some incredible, yeah. uh, you know, sequences. So it's definitely worthwhile. Anyway, I thought that was funny. Here's another one, which I think is funny, because I actually really like this movie. It's Jennifer's Body. You ever seen that? That's <laughs> hilarious. I actually found that really entertaining. Exactly. And that film was like so dead on stupid. arrival. It's Megan Fox I and know. Amanda Seyfried. It's, it's like so a dumb. horror comedy, you know, where she like turns into like this hot Satan chick. Leader, like zombie demon. thing that yeah. eats men it's completely <laughs> stupid but i found it enjoyably stupid yeah. all right yeah so anyway that's funny have you seen jennifer's body nope no. okay all right indiana jones and the kingdom of the crystal skull okay yeah that's yeah. dumb yeah. so okay <laughs> so here's the thing uh, i agree it's not a good film and it's got, I mean, you know, Shia LaBeouf swinging through the jungle with the monkeys. Oh, I mean, God. it's got some ridiculous scenes. I remember. Yeah. Um, so parts not of it are still entertaining, but it, it was certainly, for, after all that weight and all the buzz, 
it was definitely a letdown. But there's a, there's actually a, a group of people who really like it, which I wow. think is funny. I didn't mind it until the end. Like the ending ruined it for yeah, me. It's and I was bad. like, well, this is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, Patricia, uh, Patricia Paolo, she said John Carter. So, I mean, I, I fell asleep in it. the theater watching Never that. Never saw it. Oh, God, I couldn't stand it. It was a total dud. Um, but yeah, Is that she, with Johnny Depp it. or something? Oh, no, 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 no. It's... Um, Taylor Kitsch from Friday Night Lights. Oh, okay. That poor guy can't get a break. They've tried well, to make him a big leading star. He's and... in some action movie that's coming out. It actually looks pretty good. Yeah. We'll anyway, see. <laughs> anyway, that was a huge flop for oh, Disney. Um, and as I said, I fell asleep. All right, here's one that actually I totally agree with. Um, this is Zack Snyder's Sucker Punch. Have you seen that? No. I love Sucker Punch. I re- I've watched that movie multiple times. It's, it's a really uh, visually stunning, amazing soundtrack. And I thought the story was quite profound. And that's the film that introduced me to your boyfriend, babe, Oscar Isaac. Oh, he is Oscar Isaac. such an incredible... He's the guy from Poe Dameron from Force Awakens. Oh, and he Poor plays Dameron. Poe Dameron. And what? He's from Drive. He was in Drive, wasn't he? Oh, he is in Drive. He's the husband that gets killed in Drive. And he was in Inside Lewin Davis. Yeah, and... Inside Lewin Davis. Oh, okay. Uh, Anyway, uh, he's just a super Punch, sexy he is Latino inc- guy. Yeah, he's an incredible villain in, okay. in that movie. Um, anyway, so Sucker Punch, again, it was a total failure. Most most people don't like it. I love that movie. I really hmm. do. So he's the I, girl in that movie. Sucker Punch? It, oh, it's Emily Browning, who is now in American Gods, the TV show. Oh, okay. Um, and what then else has she been in that I've Gina actually Malone. seen? I don't, the blonde I don't girl? Know. I don't know. I, I have no idea. Oh. Um, Anyway, uh, I love Sucker Punch, though. Okay. I thought that was interesting that quite a few people said that one. Okay, this one's funny, and this is kind of a childhood movie of mine as well. This is Masters of the Universe with Dolph Lundgren. Never seen it. It's based on He-Man. Oh. And the Ma- <laughs> so when I watched that in the 80s, I loved that movie. Oh, my God, I tried to watch it, like, last year. <laughs> it's so lame. But I find it funny that it's still got its little following, you know. That's pretty amusing. Um, okay, good. Here you go, babe. This one's for you. The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Thank God. Someone had to say <laughs> The floor it. is it? yours. Because that wasn't mine. I don't have the I name. I didn't say it. The floor is yours. I just love that movie. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I like the... It's. I don't know. It's not like a dumb Fast and Furious movie. It's not. It's no, considered it's not. the it's most the worst. dumb one. <laughs> no, it's just because like you... you like, I don't like any in, like, of them. A different the first one's okay. space and you're in Tokyo and it's like, it's just different. And you drift? <laughs> no, it's just different. It's not like these like gross muscle cars. It's like a whole different like atmosphere. Maybe something that you haven't seen all the time. Like when you see car oh, chases in point. a movie. I kind of get They're all point. the same. Like, it's a little of a different vibe. Isn't Bow Wow in that movie? Yes, he is. Yeah. Bow Wow. <laughs> What's he's like a rapper, wow. like a rapper guy. He was like a rapper from like oh, the early 2000s, for those like a movies. child rapper that was on like Nickelodeon. <sighs> so basic, but it wasn't the basically the reason you like that movie a guy? Han. Um, Han. He's this Asian character oh, okay. who's in a lot of them. <laughs> she loves him. He just, anyway, he just eats snacks throughout the whole movie. Yeah. I don't know. I love him. Anyway, that's for Everyone you. else kind of sucks in it, but as a whole, I like the movie. Well, no, that came up on okay. the poll that came up. There were, there were a lot of people who had a, a lot of love for Tokyo Drift. But okay. again, I think... And I mentioned this in the last podcast. I think that a lot of these movies that people love that everyone else hates have mostly a nostalgic factor for them because Mm. they saw them at a certain age, which I've determined to be between about 12 and 15, which is kind of like when you're forming as you're not a kid anymore, you're not an adult anymore. Yeah. You know, it's it's that type of thing. She has a point. I I think you definitely have a point. Some of them I do find a bit odd. Like, as I said, Sucker Punch. I remember when I went to see Sucker Punch with a group of friends. And I remember um, when I left the theater, I was like, man, that was really good. And they all looked at me like, are you serious? That was so lame. And I, I kind of didn't get it. It was funny. It's just funny. a totally different reality. And I've watched it like five or six times. I love it. So I totally get this question. That's why it's kind of a really interesting question. Okay, AJ Carson, he said The Last Airbender. Have you seen that? I haven't. Yeah, I didn't like it. It is terrible. No, I didn't like it. But that's okay. He loves it. So. But I didn't like it because I was a fan of the cartoon. Yeah. And because M, 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 M Night Mashmalamum. Mashmalamum. Yeah. M Night Screw Up a Movie. Well, yeah. no, now hey, he's back, I like, I like the last yeah. movie. He's back. What, the... Split was fantastic. Oh, yeah, Split, Split was, was amazing. Yeah. And even the, 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 what was it, The The Visit? The visit was really was good. good. It's this like low key horror movie. It came out a few years ago. I didn't even know he like directed it. Like kids go to see their grandparents. Yeah, it's oh, really oh, good it's actually. Yeah, it's but, like a horror Oh, where the comedy. grandparents are all evil and put yeah. them in oh, them. Don't the, say that. That's the stuff. spoiler. But. No, that's in the previews. <laughs> Is it? It shows oh. the grandma being all scary. Yeah, anyway. they're weird. Yeah, but they're anyway, they're like psychotic essentially. But well, no, he's the, doing Glass now. He's doing the third one, Unbreakable Split. Well, I haven't seen Unbreakable, so I don't know what any of that is. It's good. But the the Last Airbender, the cartoon. 
was on TV when I was growing up. Did you watch it? Yeah, that it was called Avatar, and they couldn't call it Avatar because of the Avatar movie um. that came out mm. afterwards. But the cartoon is amazing, and now oh, there's a okay. second, like a sequel cartoon to that, which apparently is really good, which I haven't watched. <laughs> that film was terrible. I remember but, that's one of the few films where I like. I felt like I had wasted my movie ticket. Like I was like, right. oh my god, that's twelve dollars. I the can't thing get with that. that movie apparently is that they didn't get all of the rights to the show, so they had to change a lot to make it mm. into that. Sure, but the acting is so. The bad. movie as a whole was yeah. horrible. Dev but Patel from Slumdog Millionaire is in it, and he is awful and i love oh, that actor. Jesus. i think if they did it right based right. on yeah. the well, maybe cartoon it would again. have been amazing <laughs> yeah. or right. just go watch the cartoon i bet it's on netflix <laughs> yeah. somewhere watch the cartoon yeah. <laughs> it was right. a really good cartoon we'll move on all right a lot of love for far and away which i thought was funny that's considered like one of tom cruise's worst are movies. you kidding i love yeah. that really film. it's really cheesy no, his it's irish not. accent far and away is great <laughs> oh my god well, there you, you go. know again the this brings danny's point <laughs> i watched that like my my mom and dad would watch that film every couple of weeks, yeah. and I would watch it with them, so it could be formative years. Yeah, and here's the thing: I haven't rewatched it in the last ten years. Right. But even if you did, I, like I can still watch Tokyo Drift. I bet if you oh watched God, it, we watched today. it last year. She was enjoying it so much, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh my God!" But it was kind of entertaining watching how much she was enjoying it. <laughs> It's one of those things that, that it has so such a nostalgic factor yeah. for you that I bet if you watched it today, yeah, I it would, would still like bring it. I know you all I would. those happy feelings. Yeah, well, it's funny when I look back at this because, as I said, I mean, far and away, I never loved it, but I think I enjoyed it when it first came yeah. out, and I tried to watch it not long ago, and it was just so bad. <laughs> okay, Waterworld. It's funny now. Waterworld has it's got a lot of followers, and that film was so one of the, actually at the time it was the most expensive film ever made, and it was a complete flop. Uh, and it's funny because now it's got its own the, like the, the longest Universal running <laughs> show at Universal, which, which is, is fantastic. An incredible show we love it. at Universal Studios. Um, if you ever come to Los Angeles, check it out. It's amazing. It's like a template for Universal it's there. But um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't watched that movie in no, 20 years. I don't, I don't think know. it would hold up. Yeah, I don't think I've got the two and a half hours to do it. Um, okay, here, this is a funny one from Kyle Etrick. I kind of a, agree. This is Weekend at Bernie's. Have you seen that? Uh, never seen that. that. Andrew Bernie's McCarthy. 90s it's movie. such a lame movie, so but dumb. it's kind of fun. It's really kind it's of fun. Kind it's about fun. two... two oh, I know two, the premise. You know, I just have thing. never seen it yet. Yeah, oh, I, I kind of like that. Their boss dies yeah. and they basically just kind of keep use him... Use him. You use him while he's dead to act like he's alive. And be in his rich house. Yeah, it, that film, it got a sequel. <laughs> That's how, like... <laughs> Because people loved it, even though it got terrible reviews. But um, anyway, I thought that was funny. I, again, I actually haven't seen that in a long time, but I did enjoy it when it came out. Um, all right, let's see what else I got here. Okay, Demolition Man. That's a perfect example. I don't remember I that. I love Demolition Man. Sylvester Stallone. Mm. It's one of Sandra Bullock's first movies. I remember she's like, let's go blow the sky. And Sly's like, blow this guy away it's <laughs> blow this guy away <laughs> anyway um dennis leary's in that that's um wesley snipes that's a really fun film from the 90s it's super cheesy but to me it holds up okay. now i would never put it on a classic list but it's it's kind of an enjoyable film um okay good some of these next ones i would completely agree with actually roadhouse patrick swayze haven't seen it it's like a classic action b movie we watched it recently and you liked it Roadhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you liked it. It's got, um, what's his name? Sam Elliott's in it, you know, doing, you know, his whole Western Sam Elliott thing with his amazing silver mustache. <laughs> but um, and I, I love Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. And it's oh, got, I love remember, them. it's got the throat rip. You know, and it's got the, I used to fuck guys like you in prison, <laughs> you know, and all that stuff. So. I don't want to know what you did yesterday. No, that's what, it's in the movie. It's a <laughs> line sure from the is. film. Anyway, it's a great movie. Were you going to say something else? So. No, I remember liking it. I didn't think it was a B-movie. I just thought it was like a cheesy oh, movie. It's really cheesy, but it's kind of got a lot of acclaim. It's like a cult movie. But I like I'll probably, Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll probably do like a cult yeah. movie um, episode at some point. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, Con Air. So that's another film which... Do you I like love it? Con Air. Yeah, see, it's so fun. You <laughs> it's know? so fun. And when stupid. you just give me the bunny back, you yeah. know? I, I don't know. That was one, whenever it comes on TV, I watch it. I find it really good. <laughs> you used a Buffalo Bill voice again. <laughs> no, I think that was you Nicolas did. Cage. No, <laughs> was it? No, yeah. Nicolas Cage that had was a higher-pitched voice. That was, was she a creepy oh, What I remember about Con Air is it's like, because it's John Malkovich and it's John Cusack and it's an action and explosion. And I remember it has this ridiculous, like, the love plane? song. Oh. No, I just remember this like love song that seems so like totally random and Nicolas Cage 
just like flowing <laughs> long locks, his hair. Yeah. You know? But it's one of those but films that... it's made that, that way. Yeah, like, it's, it's so bad you enjoy ridiculous. it. Yeah. I loved it. Anyway, that so and I, Air Force One, which I, I think were around the same time. Harrison Ford, yeah. Yeah, I loved yeah. them. That I was like actually, Air Force One. Air Force One is Harrison Ford. That was actually yeah. very popular. Yeah. Get off my goddamn plane. You know, yeah. he's the president. Um, and it's Gary Oldman. He's the bad guy. That was a John Wayne voice. Uh, who? John Wayne. John say, Wayne? He's getting them all wrong tonight. Wow. Just okay. say say that line again exactly how you said it and then say Pilgrim at the end. Get off my goddamn plane, Pilgrim. Perfect. Is that nice. John Wayne? Yep. Yeah, that good. It's supposed to be Harrison Ford. So. <laughs> well, no, Harrison Ford's like, oh, oh, get off, oh. Get off my goddamn Get off. <laughs> no, he, he, he could actually speak. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right, High School Musical. <laughs> so it's funny. That's funny. Yeah, Tony Zac loves Efron. these. No, I actually don't mind those movies. That's hilarious. And I've never seen babe, them. Babe, you just watched them all. You just binged all three of them. So I come did. on. <laughs> I did. Yeah, she did. <laughs> they were popular when I was in like eighth grade, I think was when the first one came out. And yeah. I would go to like my friend's birthday parties and everyone knew the dances and the songs. And I like didn't watch them at a protest. And they're all on Netflix. So I did yeah. watch them. Like, <laughs> I'm going to watch them. <laughs> I mean, they're really cheesy. Aren't they what made kind of Zac Efron? Yeah, they're see, horrible. Zac Efron. They are horrible. They're horrible. They are horrible. Pretty bad, but Zac Efron is a very likable actor. Yeah, he I is. Think. I think he's, he's totally he's charismatic. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, that was the only Disney Channel original movie that I never saw because I was like, they're going, they're selling out. I was yeah. like, really <laughs> upset about it. All right, I'm going to move on. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let's not spend too much time on High School Musical. <laughs> okay, The Beach. I love the I know. beach. So the beach is a really funny one. That's Leonardo DiCaprio. That's one of my like fave yeah. weird thriller Boyle. somethings. The beach is based on a book by Alex Garland. Uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite books of all time. And Alex Garland has gone on to become quite a popular writer and director. Okay. He actually wrote the screenplay for Twenty Eight Days Later. Oh wow! And he directed uh, Ex Machina. Oh wow! Which I know you loved as well with Oscar Isaac. I, I did love and Donald Oh, it's like two of my boyfriends. I haven't yeah, seen that. but the beach is. Um, I mean, the book is way more twisted than the film. Now, there's a funny backstory about the beach that I happen to know, which is um, Ewan McGregor was like the go-to guy for Danny Boyle movies. He had okay. done Shallow yeah. Grave. He had done Life Less or Ordinary, Train Spotting, and he really wanted to be cast as the lead in the beach. Okay. Um, but they wanted a big movie star, so they gave it to Leo. And that was a film that was very different for Leo because he was very. a big heart throb and that, it's quite a gritty movie. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, it actually did okay at the box office, mainly just because of he had come off of Titanic and he was popular. Right. But, you know, generally it's considered to be like a really shitty film. I love really? that movie. I just watched wow. it last week. I've seen it a hundred times. I think it's a fantastic It's a great film. movie. Yeah. yeah. And I know a lot of my friends love it or... The other half of them have just never heard of it. Yeah. So it's kind of a hidden gem. I really have no idea. No, I'm, I'm definitely about. on that list for I love it then. Because I didn't know that was yeah. not liked by others. That's it's a great film. All right, Nathan Light again. He said Showgirls, <laughs> which for us men, I mean, it's that that's just... Is that a, about strippers or something? Yeah, it's um, it's Elizabeth Berkley who was oh, like... Oh, it's that movie. What, she was in a TV show. It's a really like Safe by the Bell. Yeah, I've mm-hmm. never seen show. She was show. Jessie. Okay. Well, I mean, it's a really cheesy you know erotic 90s movie and it's i mean it's got one of the most ridiculous over the the top love scenes you've ever seen in your life i mean she looks like she's having a a cardiac arrest you know it's it's so ridiculous but that film's become a cult classic and you know i I won't lie i've seen it i've seen it you know (laughs) but uh, anyway i thought that was funny um okay american ninja I mean, I'm talking to two ladies, so you probably don't know Haven't what I'm talking seen about. It. Okay, this is Michael Ameri- Dudder- Michael oh. Dudikoff, who it, it was total B movie, but in the '80s it was quite popular. I loved it, but uh, I mean, I don't think anyone's even heard of it. <laughs> the only American ninja I know of is a warrior. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> this is like way before that. Um, okay, um, okay, this is a film in the '90s. I remember when the trailer came out for this, and I rushed to the theater, and it was fucking terrible it was the avengers but not the marvel avengers this came out in the 90s and it was with uma thurman and ralph fiends it was called the avengers and sean connery's in it did you ever see that that. oh my god it was i I feel like i did because i was really into uma thurman it was so bad so bad uh it was terrible but uh, there's apparently some people who love it Mm -hmm. so good for them um but i remember that pearl harbor that's the next one did you ever see that? I, I really enjoyed Pearl Harbor really? in its time. Yeah, I, Have you I, seen it again? 
I have not seen it uh. since I saw it in the theaters. All right, so Pearl Harbor was Michael Bay. Um, oh, but I, I had the hots for what's his name? Josh Hartnett. Yeah, that was all I. I mean, honestly. Yeah, so it was Ben Affleck, Josh Hartnett, yeah. and Kate Beckinsale. Look, and that tell, made Kate Beckinsale. That movie. Well, let me tell you something about Pearl Harbor. Uh, it, it's got some stunning action sequences yeah. and effects, and they are incredible. But the love triangle between those characters and the acting was so piss poor, it was terrible. And it, it's actually quite sad because I, I rewatched it again like a year or so ago. Yeah. And again, I found the action scenes really good, but the rest of the film was just so hammy. But apparently there's p some people who love it, so, you know. I wouldn't say I love it, but yeah. I, I, didn't, I don't dislike it. Yeah. All right, so someone said here, Dirty Dancing, Havana <gasps> Nights. I never I, even oh, knew they the did a sequel. One, yeah. Did you see it? I, no, I heard of it. I just can't believe anyone oh. would watch it. You didn't oh. know there was a sequel to Dirty Dancing? I didn't even Dancing? know it existed, no. no. All right, I thought this one was funny. Stop or my mum will shoot. Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> I watched that. Yeah, I saw I it. And that's all I'll say. <laughs> all right, <laughs> Spider-Man 3 has love. There were people who actually love emo Spider-Man. Spider-Man 3, Tobey Maguire, jazz dancing and skipping and singing with his, like, emo hair. Do you remember that? Yeah, and it's um, stupid. Oh they all God. blend for me, so. Oh, oh no, you will know this scene. And I saw this video, like, a couple of weeks ago, which is probably, like, super old. But it's the emo, it's called Emo Spidey Dance. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's what it's known as. Okay. But, it's like, it's him, like, dancing through the streets of New York and just by himself, like through crowds of people and stuff like that. And then, so there's this video of like that without the music behind it. Oh God. <laughs> and someone that would look someone so like dubbing in like grunts and oh, things like that that he oh, would make funny. while dancing. It is so awkward. That film is, is so weird. And I'm like, um, this is what I girl felt. on that film? Uh, well, it was Bryce Dallas Howard plays Gwen Stacy, and then otherwise it's Kristen Dunst. Uh, um, is that her name? Yeah, Kristen mm -hmm. Dunst. Kristen, Kristen. Dunst. Yeah. yeah, she was Mary Jane. Um, anyway, it was terrible. Um, Someone, Randy Ellis said Pootie Tang. I wasn't sure if he was joking or if it was a real movie. <laughs> it's, no, it is a real, it's a real movie. movie. I've never seen it. I don't yeah, know what it's about, but I, the name I is can ridiculous. Imagine what it's about. Do you remember, well, you probably wouldn't, uh, babe, because you weren't born, but do you remember Garbage Pail Kids? No. You don't remember those? Oh, these little, like, trading cards in the uh, 80s? Vaguely, And they were, like, yeah. really obscene and gross. Remember, they got, like, banned in schools. There was a film they did called Garbage Pail Kids. God, it was awful, but apparently there's people who love it. Oh, wow. Uh, and then the next one, I actually started watching it last week, and it's really bad, is Howard the Duck, the oh, movie. Oh, it, That's that regarded funny. as one of the worst films of all time, and I understand yeah. why I Aren't tried. Aren't they redoing that? I don't know. I mean, Wasn't there a preview? He features a cameo at the end of like Guardians of the Gam Galaxy or something. The first yeah. one, yeah. Yeah. It was very yeah. obscure. I don't know why they did. That was kind of funny. That means they're going to bring him in somewhere. Maybe not as a standalone. Right. This movie, one's but... for you, babe. Joe Dirt. That film has a lot of love. Excuse Dave Excuse me, it's, it's Joe Dirte? Joe Dirte. So why didn't David you say something that about movie. that? I cannot stand <laughs> that movie. David loves that movie. They made so a sequel. That makes sense. You love it because you're basically my husband as a guy. Why do you love yeah. it? Well, you know, life's a garden. You just got to dig it. What? These are lines from the movie. Yeah, I, I watched it and it was like <laughs> mind-numbingly stupid. And I it's don't even funny. mind Dave Spade, but oh my God. It's funny. But do you have anything to defend it? Anything no, it's you can just say? hilarious. I remember like watching She's it. She's like, like cracking up. It was, on, like, it was on Comedy Central when I was a kid growing up and I had a TV in my room so my parents didn't so know I was watching it. So it's got that nostalgic. It. And I was like, yeah, this is hilarious. Like, look at there's dog's balls stuck to a porch. Like, oh what's more See, funny than that? I don't remember that? any of that. <laughs> apparently, As a kid, yeah. that's hilarious. Well, apparently it was so beloved they even made like a straight to demand sequel. But uh, anyway. Which was also pretty decent. Oh. Okay, have you seen uh, Southland Tales? Mm-mm. It's actually not a bad film. It's really weird. That's the follow-up film that Richard Kelly, who directed Donnie Darko, did. Oh. And it's got The Rock in it really young. It's got Justin Timberlake in it. And it's got this really weird, like, musical montage that's kind of cool. I didn't understand that film at all, but it's actually not bad. And it's got... There's a lot of people who love it, but... uh. Yeah. Anyways. It sounds like a fever dream and not a real Yeah, dream. it's genuinely regarded to be terrible. All right, I thought this one was interesting from Amy Olsen. I, I agree, and I find it funny that she loves it. I love you, Amy. God bless you. Uh, Jupiter Ascending. Oh, Did you see that? I didn't actually see oh, it. Oh, my God. With Myla Kunis and Channing Tatum. That was terrible. And Eddie Redmayne. It came it, out the same didn't year Didn't it do he won really bad? Oh, do you remember yeah, that scene of Eddie terrible. Redmayne, like, yelling? And oh, it's I don't know. So, His acting was so, so lame. Like, Did you watch it in the theater? No, no, we God rent no. it. No, no it, we, we didn't, didn't even that. rent it. We, it was on like HBO or yeah, Showtime or something. Yeah, it was like free. There is a scene <laughs> where, Eddie Ray, Ray, where Eddie Redmayne is like yelling about something. I don't remember, but like... He's like... Ah, okay, okay don't right. yell into the microphone. It was so weird. <laughs> but 
every piece of scenery that there was in that whole freaking set, he chewed on it so hard. <laughs> oh, God. Chewing the scenery, it's like Yeah, a, chewing the scenery. When you're it overacting. Was so hammy. Oh, but what was God. funny was that was the same year he won the Oscar for the Theory of Everything. Was that that's the hilarious. same year? Yeah, oh, same my God. year. That's so funny. That so that was, uh, that was funny. I need to, we're going to YouTube that scene afterwards. Oh, you were oh, going to yeah. crack yeah. up. Yanni, you were going to die. Oh, I couldn't stand yeah, that. Yeah, it, it was, was doing so badly. And I, I love Eddie Redmayne. <laughs> like, I love yeah. him. Oh, I love him too. The cast was great. All night and all day. Just come over. Myla Kunis, so like the plot is that she's like the queen of the universe or the princess. But she doesn't know it. No, and She's a janitor on planet Earth. It was just so weird. And Channing Tatum has like his elf wolf, ears. It's no, so like wolf weird. ears and the tail. It's so oh, weird. It is really awkward. And it's really cringy. Oh, and that's the Wachowskis. The guy, oh, really? The guys or the that girls did who Ma- did the Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know what? Not everyone wakes up on a good day. And haven't they had several bad movies rather than good ones as of late? I guess so. Anyway, all right. Here's another one. Um, okay. Well, I kind of already touched upon this. It's funny. This made it. That's funny. This made it on this list too. Crash. <laughs> the, oh wow! The the ninth the, you know, the film that won the best picture, I guess because now yeah. you know there's a lot of people who um who hate it, but there's still people who love it. So I guess that's weird. Crash made it on both lists as an answer to both questions. Okay, um, th- this one I I think is kind of funny. This is um Superman Returns. I don't know if you remember in the two thousand early yeah. two thousand, Brian Singer did a film with uh, Brandon Routh, and I Kevin Spacey that. was Lex Luthor. I thought Kevin Spacey was really good. Oh, uh, yeah, and I, actually, I remember enjoying that. I didn't mind that movie. Wait. And Kate Bosworth is Lewis Lane, but what's weird oh, never is mind. That's Superman not the one ends about. up having a kid with her, and it it, it got kind of weird. Okay, maybe but I didn't see that. Well, it's actually not a bad film, but it it just kind of it was. Dead and Arrival for uh, whatever reason. Okay. But there are people who love it, so good for them. All right. I can't believe this. Uh, Davey Rizzi, he loves... Rizza. He said he loves Transformers 2, Dark of the Moon. Oh, Davey, I, come on. I think that's We're the worst friends. one. <laughs> hey, <laughs> He's a friends. great man. No, it's okay. Everyone has a right to their opinion. Anyway. Not look, unless it's yeah. wrong. Look, the, the first Transformers I thought was entertaining. Um, the, then they just got progressively worse. They are they're terrible. Um, I thought this was really funny that there's actually people who have love for this. This is Batman and Robin. Batman oh and Robin is one of the worst films ever made, and you would only watch that for comic entertainment, I think. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I, I, I remember turning that off, I believe. Oh, it's yeah, so bad. Wait, it's... That, that's the one Alicia Silverstone's in, right? Yeah, and, oh, and so bad. George Clooney with his yeah. bat nipples. I mean, yeah, it's just so bad. scarred me for life. Can have I you make ever a seen confession? that? Yeah. I've never seen a Batman movie before. Christian Bell is Batman. Well, that's okay. That's you're, all right. You're young. There it's are okay. a million Batman movies. Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, Honestly, look, you didn't miss... I mean... Well, sorry, no, look, I, I like liked... the idea of the campy Batman movies, though. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Because that would see, be like reminiscent of actually a They're totally book. different films. That's what I was going like, to say. Before I'm Nolan... Um, those superhero hero movies, especially Batman, was quite was campy. Silly, yeah. Yeah, you know, um, Batman Forever. But they look like a comic book. Like, I mean, all the villains yeah, have like do, prosthetics but... and these wild costumes yeah. and things yeah. like that. It's like, oh wow, I'm watching a comic book. Yeah, actually, I remember Batman Returns was quite dark. Actually, the second one, yeah. after the original, which had like um, who were the villains? Penguin in it? and oh, Michelle Pfeiffer. Danny that DeVito one was quite Penguin? dark. It like scared a lot of kids. I yeah. remember. Um, but yeah, no, look, a lot of the, the earlier movies were very campy. Yeah. And Nolan kind of made them like... Dark films. Not just dark, but like good. Yeah, really like good. Like really well acted, really yeah. well produced. To kind yeah. of That's why I think it really did change the I game. I agree with mm-hmm. that. Um, but Batman and Robin... Like Batman Forever isn't terrible. It's kind of fun. Um, but Batman and Robin is just god awful. <laughs> All right, last action heroes on here. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Do you ever see that one? I couldn't I, stand it I, I, I saw all those old Arnie movies yeah. and yeah, I, 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 you know, funnily enough, I've grown to like them more now than I did then. That's but funny. Last Action Hero was terrible. So I'm going to let you talk about this one because the next one on the Uh-oh. list is from Yenny Brainard, Lake Uh-oh. Placid. Okay, yeah. My, my list has some really cheesy, bad I have movies some more, that, that I like. from you. <laughs> yeah, Lake Placid is one of those, like I told you. Who's I've, in it? I, I don't remember it. Um... In the first one, funnily enough, there's more than one. They've made like five of these oh movies. My God. Yeah, what the rest. It? I've never it. heard of it. It's about it's it's one of those. Um, it came out around the time I want to say when when a lot of these um, like shark movies, some good shark movies started coming out and so forth. Like and, Deep Blue Sea. Yeah, like things like late that. 90s, yeah, um, mid nineties. Okay. The first one is um, it's the f- yeah. Let's just talk about the first one. Okay. <laughs> The concept is there's basically, it's like some lake in Wyoming or something, and it's about a giant 
crocodile oh, is what it's about. Oh. It's a huge, and somehow. It sounds like a, like a romance or something. <laughs> Oh god! No, yeah, like, not at all. Yeah, I had no and idea. And there's a cop, was. and they're trying to, you know, it kills people. It's the usual kind of thing, and the, there's a conspiracy, and there's an there's an old lady that feeds the the little, little the little crocodiles, and some. I just have love for that. So movie. you recommend it? I have love for that <laughs> movie. I, you know, I've never actually even heard of it, so that's okay. All right, but that's funny. All right, so the next one, I, I actually I like this movie. This is another. I'm sorry, I just cannot pronounce his name, so I won't try. M Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan. This is this is the village. I like the village. Uh, people hate that generally. Do you ever see the village? I did very quite recently. Joaquin Phoenix, yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard, um, uh, Adrian Brody. Uh, I'm Hurt. neither here nor there on that one. Yes, yeah, so I yeah. really liked it. I liked the twist in that film. Anyway, a lot of people agree with you. you know, what was a lot the of people don't like it. I'm not going to say. Why? You know, it's old. No, it's fine. But um, um you know, uh, I like that. I thought it was a good movie. All right, here's another one. Um, I find this funny that people like this because it was so bad. Godzilla, the Matthew Project one oh, in the 90s. I never saw it. Oh, it's terrible. It right. was Matthew Broderick, so you can't. Not yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good, Matthew Broderick. It wasn't good. All right, I touched upon this one, and this is funny. And again, I guarantee you, people only love this for comic value, which is the, the Wicker Man remake with I Nicolas didn't see Cage. It, yeah. Oh my God, it is so ridiculous. <gasps> Can I throw in something right there? Sure. Um, you're gonna I think you hate these movies what? and these are ones that I love the National Treasure movies oh, I don't hate actually the second one I hate the I love one them I don't both. mind I love them I was They're oh cheesy. so much you love them? a lot of people so much. I've been trying to find them on like I HBO love them. stars the second Showtime. one's on there I want to watch yeah. the first one first yeah. you know the funny thing is though it's been brought up or I've seen it written as like that, that is where Nicolas Cage lost his ability to act or something Can and I it say, went downhill yeah. from there you know something that's interesting though uh, I mean they did make two of them but they were both very successful they I, made a lot of money I love them so I'm surprised they didn't keep making more but uh, anyway I, I was never a fan but that's okay that's why we're going through this list um, okay let's see oh this um, Spring Breakers do you ever see that see with James Franco as Alien, that weird like rapper, white boy? Oh my God! Do you ever see, you saw that right? You liked that movie, babe. I didn't like it, but I didn't like hate it. It was just it was really weird. They turned a, a concept that I think could have been made into a mainstream film, but it wasn't. Like it was, they made it. They wanted to make an artsy film, and they made an artsy film, but it was like the a concept long music was so video. out there. It was really weird. It was yeah. like just dubstep, and they made it very yeah there was some person's artistic vision and they brought that to fruition and that's totally fine and not everyone's yeah. going to get it when you do something that artsy that's anyway all. that was danielle cuts and she loves that movie and she stands behind it <laughs> okay so, yeah, yeah like i would watch it i'm again. calling you out danielle all right the adventures of pluto nash what on eddie earth murphy. is that it was eddie murphy i've it was never a film heard of that, that really like helped kind of Thought sink his every, career every it was pretty bad. Okay. <laughs> um, striptease with Demi Moore. Now, here's the funny thing. Yes, she gets naked in it, and that's pretty cool. I remember watching that movie. I actually liked the film. It, it's actually like Ving Rames is in it, and he's really funny. I remember there's this like totally random scene where he goes into like a, a blockbuster, because blockbuster was around in the 90s, and he's like, is Free Willy out yet? I whacked on the table, it's fine. But that's what he does. Anyway, it was so funny. He was this big, you know, black dude. But okay. uh, I actually like striptease, so I understand why there's some love for that movie. All right, The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Have you ever seen that? I remember that, It's one yeah. of Sean Connery's last movies. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't like it at all. All right, James Parcell. He loves That's My Boy with Adam Sandler. And, uh, well, I've Andy never Sandler. seen it all the way through. God, no, that I've was never terrible. Seen it. it was awful. I hated that movie, but, you know, he loves it, so good for him. All right, and I've mentioned this before, Judge Dredd, the Stallone version yeah. in the 90s. I can't believe there's love for that. That film was terrible. Uh, and then, wow, he's coming up a lot. Another M. Night Shyamalan movie. Shyamalan. Shyamalan. It's really not hard. Say it. M. Night Shyamalan. Shyamalan? Yeah. Are you M sure? M. Night yeah. Shyamalan. M. Night I'll Shyamalan. It. But isn't yeah. it more fun to say Shyamalan? <laughs> yes, it I'll is. I'll go off Shyamalan. my page of Don Gleason photos, All which right. I got in anyway, the Google Anyway, the um, here's what that's with oh, that Mark Wahlberg. Horrible what? film. No. Yeah, I know it's what horrible is it? It's the film. grass is like taking it's out the so whole human awful. species. Yeah. It was pretty bad. It makes everyone kill themselves, right? Yeah. It's awful. What was funny was when I saw it first, I don't know what mood I was in, but I kind of enjoyed it. Oh, and I've I watched hated it since it. then. And it's bad. I Isn't hated that it. the what? No. Yeah, I just said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I missed it. I was Googling in my yeah. channel. All right, Electra with Jennifer Garner. That was a spin-off of Daredevil. Uh, apparently there's some love for it. I couldn't stand it. 
Uh, Norbert, that's nope, another Eddie Murphy it. movie. So that came out. Here's what's interesting about Norbert. It's terrible, number one. It really is. So God bless those people that Wasn't love it. Wasn't it essentially like, oh, I'm going to try to do the Nutty, Nutty Professor again? Something like that. But those films were good. Like but here's what's funny about that. That came out the same time as Dream Girls came out. And he got Oscar nominated. Eddie Murphy did for Dream Girls. Oh. And it's a popular uh, opinion that because Norbert got released around the same time, it killed his chances of winning an Oscar. Oh, wow. Because he was fantastic in Dreamgirls. I don't know if you saw that. No. He got an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. And it's a pity he didn't win. All right, and the, the last one on the uh, on the poll uh, from the different listeners is Grease 2. Which, I uh, wouldn't I remember watch that, that if you paid me. Yeah, that was Michelle Pfeiffer, and I don't yeah, even remember the guy. guy. It was terrible. It was so bad. As a kid, I liked it. They flipped the story. The guy is kind of conservative, and the girl is all punk rock like Greaser. It's bad. You don't need to find it. Was it was a different year, though, too, right? Yeah. Like, it, it took place in a different kind of time period? Yeah. Um, no, I mean, it's just a few years later. Oh, it wasn't still? It wasn't like... No, no, it's like oh. same time period. All right, so I, I have a few in my list. Um, so, number one, I have The Room, Tommy Wiseau, which they're actually making into a film I called, like that movie. Yeah, you haven't seen The Room? The Room. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Oh, You're not thinking room. of Rome oh. <laughs> with Brie Larson. She won an Oscar. That is a good movie, but very heavy. Oh, The Room. Okay. The Room is considered like the best worst movie ever made. Okay. No, it's just the worst movie. No, it, it really is the best worst movie but ever made. But it's a made. cult classic because they do things like kind of Rocky Horror type things where they do live showings uh. and people, there's like different parts of, that the audience can kind of participate they while they watch at it. The screen, yeah. I did not. Did you guys see a pre-screening or something? I've watched it's, it. No, no, it's an old movie. Oh. Yeah, it came out like 10 years ago. Uh. Um, it's awful, but the guy who starred in it and directed it still kind of stands behind it and kind of thinks it's a good movie. Oh, how funny. James Franco actually made a film about it that's coming out that's getting a lot of Oscar buzz. It's called The Disaster Artist. Uh, anyway, it it's so bad that it's actually entertaining. Okay. Kind of like Samurai Cop, which is one I have on my list. Samurai Cop is a film from the 90s that is so that. bad that it's actually entertaining. Like, some of the lines of dialogue are, like, cringeworthy, but it makes you laugh. That's yeah. the one that we watch, right? Yeah, yeah, and I own it. I forget <laughs> yeah. what... I don't want to say something about it that'll ruin it. But... Like what? Like with the nurse and stuff? Like, like what? Movie, Go right? ahead, yeah, with the nurse. Okay, no, I just... I didn't. I couldn't remember if it was that one or a different one. Yeah, I mean, this is how bad the acting is. It's got okay. a scene where, the, like, the nurse comes up to the main guy and she's like, do you find me attractive? He's like, and yes, like, I yes. do. Yes. Do you want to have sex with me? Yes. Bingo. I do. <laughs> he's like, bingo. Actually, I think she's like, do you want to fuck me? Bingo. Oh <laughs> anyway, my God. we ruined it. But it's, it, the acting's so bad that it's actually entertaining. Okay. Uh, so here's some of my lists that I think are interesting. So, again, okay. just to recap, because we've kind of gone through a few. The question is what's a film that everyone hates but you love? And uh, so I, I took a look at that myself. Like, okay, Jersey Girl. Kevin oh, Smith's yeah. Jersey Girl. So, oh, I love that movie. Exactly. It was, uh, critics hate it. It's kind of considered one of his worst, mo worst movies. Um, number one, I love Kevin Smith uh, films anyway. But that film is actually very different than most of his films because he does toilet humor, kind of crude films. That's a really sweet heartwarming movie about where Ben Affleck's character and his, and his daughter and it's got this kind of great random cameo from Will Smith at the end but it's a really sweet film I I'll highly recommend them. Jersey Girl I've watched it like 10 times and I think I introduced you to it and mm -hmm. you like it right mm -hmm. yeah so um that's a film I, I really like that generally people love I think it's a sweet film okay The Last Dragon and you probably don't know it but it's a really hammy B movie from the 80s mm. that I love and it still holds up even though it's so cheesy I was so thinking cheesy. of the Dragon Heart yeah. yeah The Love Guru with Mike Myers I it, didn't see it. it's considered like that it killed his career yes it's silly but that's the whole point i kind of find it funny okay i've seen it a few times justin timberlake's in it he's got this ridiculous role in it but it's not a terrible film encino man with uh paulie like shaw yeah i, I like, like that encino too. man you know and uh, brendan fraser i love that movie I've in, seen uh, it in many uk times. that movie was called california man that's right. Yeah, I remember, I remember I, watching it yeah, when I was I saw young. it in England. Yeah. Anyway, so I just rewatched it. I still like it. I love that movie. I don't want to watch it again now. Yeah. Here's <laughs> another one, which, uh, I mean, this is like probably like 10% on Rotten Tomatoes, and I just watched it again, and for some reason I still enjoy it. It's another Paulie Shaw movie, Biodome. That was funny. Yeah. Well, here's what I I remember. actually enjoyed that too. Okay, here's what I remember, and I remember this when I watched that film as a kid. 
they go up to these like hot girls, uh, Kylie yeah. Minogue's in that movie, yeah. and they use these lines on them. And I was a teenager when I saw that film, so I would go up to chicks oh, and Christ. I would use the same um, lines. Wow. And I remember it was like, "Excuse me, ma'am, did it hurt?" And then they go like, "When did you what fell hurt? from heaven." When you fell from heaven, yeah. you know, and different lines like that. Or, "Excuse me, are you tired?" Say why. Why? Because you've been running through my mind all day. Anyway, <laughs> oh, they God. use these lines in that movie, and I shit you not. <laughs> Danny's face. I tried it, and it worked, man. <laughs> Chicks found it really charming. Oh, so I God. always remember Biodome from that. Thank you, Paulie Shaw. Jesus. And it's got it was one of the um, It's got one of the Baldwin brothers in it as well. Yeah. I think Stefan Baldwin. Anyway, it's terrible, but I, I love it. Okay, let's see. Um, Krull. I don't know if you remember that. That was a really hammy like uh kind of fantasy sci-fi movie Didn't from the it. 80s i really like it mannequin is next on my list oh I like mannequin. mannequin well you remember so okay so it's got the uh, theme the song is starship nothing's gonna stop us now yeah. nothing's gonna stop us now we'll start singing no we actually danced to that song. We had a whole choreographed dance at our wedding. We loved that song. That's a brilliant yeah. song. Uh, Kim Cattrall, Andrew McCarthy, Hollywood. You know, um, 80s kind of cheesy classic. I used to adore that film. I own it and I did try and rewatch it and I guess you liked it. It like was it. really bad. It kind of holds a nostalgic place yeah. in my heart. Um, you don't want to sing the song? Nope. Okay, fine. Okay. Moving on. Um, anyway, okay, let's see. Speed Racer. I mm-hmm. like that movie. Didn't you though. remember it? I like Speed oh. Racer. I don't know the new one. I only know one. The one that came out recently. The Wachowskis did it like 10 years ago. Emil Hirsch is in it. Yeah, um, no. I okay. like that film. Visually, it's stunning. Visually, Matthew it's Matthew Fox cool. is in it. It's not my movie. Okay, Commando. It's like one of my Didn't favorite it, action movies of all time. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I love it. Um, the Running Man. Wow, I have a whole bunch of uh, Arnie movies. The Running Man and Twins. I think Twins should definitely be mentioned there. Twins is a really fun movie. Like it is Twins. a fun movie. Danny DeVito, Arnold Schwarzenegger, it's, and uh, Kelly Preston. It's she's a great one. Gorgeous in oh, that. She's gorgeous. Yeah. John Travolta's work. God, I had such a huge crush on her in that she film. She was beautiful. Um, I loved that movie. Yeah. You know, I liked it too. Yeah. I really enjoyed that. Okay, I had to put a Van Damme on here. Time Cop. John Claude Van Damme. <laughs> he does the splits. Of course. I like that Doesn't movie. Doesn't he do that in every movie? No, I don't think so. I, I remember I never it saw Time very Cop. specifically in that film. Okay, Over the Top. Sylvester Stallone. The arm wrestling movie. All right, now I'm doing like guy films for the... <laughs> We're it's all looking at him movie. blankly like... Uh... <clears throat> all right, now this one goes down for the ages. Spice World, the movie. <laughs> yes. Do you like That's it? Thank you movie. Oh, I so didn't know you liked much. that. I used to watch this because it used to be on Netflix. I used to watch this every year of my birthday because I'm not a big birthday person. So I'll just, I usually just spend my birthdays like alone. Aww. And I would watch Spice World. That was what I needed. I was like, I'm good. I got I Spice it. World. Have you seen and it? now it's not available anywhere. I have. Yeah. You have seen Once, it? Once, but it was a, a long fan? time. No, I thought it was hilarious. Well, you need I a loved spice it. of your life, honey. All right. Well, I, oh my right. God. <laughs> anyway, so I have a confession to make. I mean, number one, I, I loved the Spice Girls at oh, the time, I adore especially. Them. And I still like them now. I mean, they really were a sensation, especially in England. I mean, I, I grew up there during their heyday. But here's a funny anecdote about Spice World. Um, when that film came out in the theater, I was like a teenage dude. And yeah. I dragged my baby sister and my two little baby brothers out to the theater, disguising that I was bringing them to watch Spice World. Oh my God. And I watched it because I wanted to see it. That's hilarious. And they were like, they bro- begrudgingly came along. That's and hilarious. I really enjoyed that. And I've seen it several times. I actually think that film is really funny and it's quite witty. You know, I like it. Anyway, I need so, to rewatch that. Yeah, that definitely goes on this. All right, babe, you're going to agree with me on this. White Chicks. I like White Chicks. So many people hate that movie. White Chicks is hilarious. It's the Wayan brothers. I mean, the uh. premise is ridiculous. They're two African-American, like, FBI agents who go undercover as two, like, white chicks. Right. It's really funny. <laughs> it's really funny. I love that movie. Uh, we just watched <laughs> it again. It's I like watched a, that. It's a guilty pleasure. Here's another guilty pleasure. I don't know why I like this film. I mean, it's reviled. It's considered like Adam Sandler's worst movie, Jack and Jill. Oh, yeah, I didn't yeah. like that at all. I love that yeah. movie. I don't, actually, I, I don't know if I love it, but I like it. Oh. I, I think it's cute and funny. You don't like it? No, it, it's so ridiculous. I know, it's that's ridiculous. the point. But I have Adam a, Sandler, and that's saying a lot. I have a soft spot I for have Sandler. An, I have an Adam Sandler that I like that others hate that what? I just realized is Waterboy. A lot of people oh, hate that film. Yeah, um, I, I really liked it. I'm not a fan it. of that one, yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I like Jack and Jill. All right, here's another one. This is uh, Rob Schneider, The Hot Chick. Yeah. I think that film is 
hilarious. Have you seen that movie? No. That's a really young Rachel McAdams as well, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Anna Faris is in that too, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, I don't know why I have a soft spot as well for Rob Schneider. He did The Animal as well and uh, some of his earlier stuff I actually really liked. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for me. Do you have any others? I have a couple. Um, but the, uh, most of these are kind of like sillier movies. Um, it's okay. Into the Blue. Never heard Paul of Walker and... Um, Kate Bosworth? No, Paul Walker and um, Jessica Alba. Oh, never heard of it. Um, you know, sort of adventure, sharks. You really like sharks. Their beautiful bodies. I know, I really <laughs> We're gonna do. We're going to do a shark I really episode. do. Just Don't for worry. me. <laughs> um, um, you know, they, it's the, the premise is like they're divers out in the gorgeous ocean. You see lots of her beautiful bikini body and his yeah, beautiful I body. That. Yeah, well, not his, but hers. Um, <laughs> And it's, you know, they get into some trouble with, I think, some drugs or something or another. And then the, it's, it's actually you just... you actually love it? I, I actually really love that oh, really? film. I oh, really right. love that film. And it's it's really... I've never heard of it, so I can't rated, say it's bad. Oh, really? Horribly rated. <laughs> okay. um, so I have that one. Um, I give you National Treasure. Dante's Peak. I oh, love that Bosnan. movie. I mean, I remember it when it came out, but then I, I totally many forgot times. about it. Really? Yeah, like it's one of those I, I just rewatch over like and a over. a Volcano movie, yeah. right? And Volcano came out the same yep. year with Tommy Lee yeah. Jones. Now and that they, was bad. Really? I think, see, they were both forgettable, but it's interesting, I love isn't Dante's it? How certain peak. films just kind of stick with people. Uh, Miss Congeniality 2. Um, oh, you like the second one? Armed yeah. and Fabulous. I loved, oh my God. I loved both of them. I, I, I loved them. I mean, I love Sandra Bullock. So the first one's cute. I, I don't remember the second one. Really? So entertaining. The second one, uh, like, critically bombed. Oh, I'm but, sure, yeah. Yeah. Is that good. it? Yeah. That, that's kind of my list. I covered National Treasure and... Well, yeah. All right. What about you, babe? Do you have any, uh, what's a film that everyone hates but you love just to put you on the spot? Anything you can think of? You know, I had one in my head and... And you then forgot. I forgot it, yeah. So <laughs> it must be through. really bad. And I was like, damn it, because I was like so excited about it. But yeah, no, I, I it totally, I got sidetracked. And I started on a Google binge of Donald Gleason pictures. And oh, Why? Why are you bringing that up? Because it distracted me. He's really pretty. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. So we went through the list. I thought that was interesting. So I thought I'd share it with all the listeners. So I hope you enjoyed. And you can absolutely comment yourself. But um, yeah, I guess that's it. So uh, good night. 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 Thank you for listening to another new episode of Tony the Movie Guy, the podcast. We're really happy to bring him to you. Just a quick reminder to follow us on all of our social media. That's Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Tony the Movie Guy. Also, email us in at Tony the Movie Guy at gmail.com. Any comments, questions, whatever you want. Also, the most important announcement is to please rate and review our podcast. It means a lot and it helps us get out to more people, which will help us make more episodes. So that would be amazing if you can do that. Um, you can do it on an iPhone via the podcast app. Um, if you don't have an iPhone, though, you do have to go like on iTunes to do it. So if you do that, I appreciate the extra effort and <laughs> uh, we're very thankful for it. So um, stay tuned for next week's new episode. Bye-bye.